it's Lainey and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I'm so glad that you are here and if you are returning to my channel, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. You guys, if you were just tuning in and new here, this is part two of a part two video because it was too long. I, I had to split it up. The first part was my massive lipstick declutter where I got rid of almost every lipstick that I owned and this is me restocking all of those. I have about 50, I think I counted 50 lip products here so uh, let's skip everything and just jump on into it because my battery is only at 33%. Okay, so the first little part I'm just going to run through the products I already had in my collection that I'm keeping because they are not past expiration. The first one is a Pixi lip gloss with their collab with Chloe Morello. This is in Cake. Honestly, you guys, I will, I will, I'll just be real with you. It is not my favorite. I think I've only worn it like one time. I'm not going to get rid of it just yet because it is newer to my collection, but it's, it's not my favorite. One that is past expiration, but I'll probably never get rid of because I love it. And it's not one I even wear very often, but it is the Too Faced Unicorn Lipstick, you guys, if you haven't seen it. It's so cool. It's like a bluey purpley shift. It's so fun. I absolutely love love. And then I picked this up when we went to Chicago around Christmas time. This is the Wet Cherry Lime Crime Lip, Lip Gloss in Marchino Cherry. This formula is absolutely amazing. I'm trying to not pick up so many high-end products because I just cannot use up my lip products by their expiration, so I'm trying to do more affordable products. But this formula, if I was going to get a bunch of high-end glosses, you guys, this formula, it gives you the most juicy, delicious looking lips without it being sticky or gloopy or gross. It is really one of the best gloss formulas I have ever used. The other three were something I picked up around Christmas time, it, uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas time of last year. It was the Makeup Geek Healthy Lip Glaze Trio. This is a new formula she was testing out. I actually really, really, really enjoy this formula and I, even ha I haven't even worn all three colors yet, but I really like it. I was not willing to give that up. We just got this in the Boxy Charm maybe like two months ago. I could be a little bit wrong. I think it was right around the holidays. This is an Insta Famous. It is their glitter. It's like a gloss, but it's not super glossy. It's a really pretty, pretty, pretty lip product. Then this is something I picked up because everybody on YouTube was raving about it for so long. It is the Skinny Dip by Jouer. And honestly, you guys, don't buy into the hype. It's pretty, but is it something that like, oh my God, is life changing? I haven't found to be haven't found it to be that yet um, but it's still newer to my collection so I'm not willing to give it up yet and I just don't like the packaging it's bulky and kind of weird this is one I got um, in a perfume set that my hubby got me not t for maybe my birthday last year and I'm just not ready to give it up yet because I've only used it like twice this is the Prada Candy Gloss Lip Gloss it's just a really pale glossy wet pink I really like it. I already tried one of these a while back, so I picked up two more because I do like the formula. It is the Joa Satin Liquid Lipsticks. They're not like amazing or anything to like jump up and down about, but it's just like a really nice, light, comfortable formula like for everyday wear. So I have the shades Chew, <laughs> that's cute, which is like a really springy pink in the color. What color are you? Moi. Very similar to that, a little bit deeper. I didn't realize how close those were in color. And then the last one here is Kiss. And it, it looks more of like a brick red type color. It's just a really comfortable formula. I have really found that I really like the Joa brand, which is available at CVS. It's really nice. The next three are also by them. This is the color Sweet Cheeks. This is their Velvet Matte formula. And... I've talked about this a lot. I'm really picky about mattes. A lot of mattes do not work for me, but this is the most comfortable matte in a gloss pairs over top beautifully. I've really come to love this matte formula and it's drugstore so you can't beat it. The colors are Sweet Cheeks, Sweet Cheeks, Honey, and Bow. It's these three here. Just a really, really comfortable velvety plush matte. I really love their formula. Now we will start to the all brand new to me products. So I have had the Bite Agave Lip Mask for 
uh, way past its expiration, several, several years now. That thing just never runs out. It is really nice. I love it for wearing it under liquid lips because you can really put on a sheer amount, but it like coats the lips and hydrates. So I decided to pick up this and I'm really hoping it will compare. I really considered getting the bite again, but I just wanted to switch it up like I said in my last video, part one. Um, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. You want to see that. Um, I kind of go more in depth over my lipstick collection journey. So I wanted to get something new to try out. This is the Smith's Rosebud South. This is in a tube. I love tubed chapsticks um, more than ones that you dig your finger in, but I've heard good things. My friend had this and loved it. I hope it doesn't taste nasty. I've had rose lip products that are like, blah, gross. So now the next two are something that are so expensive. I'm not even going to waste a swatch on them. I haven't worn them yet. They are so fantastic, beautiful, high-end. This is the Tatcha lipstick in Twilight and Kyoto Red. The whole reason I got this was because my brother lives in Kyoto, my nephew lives in Kyoto. I've never been, but I have always wanted to go. One day I will save up enough money to go. And I heard that she, Tatcha had a color based off of Kyoto Red, and I had to have it. It's a so luxe, stupid expensive. You guys, these are crazy expensive. They better be like the most wonderful lipsticks I have ever used. The packaging is literally so luxe. It's heavy, it's fancy. You can tell it is luxurious. Probably the most luxurious lipsti lipsticks I will ever even consider buying but I just had to try them out. Next up is ColourPop, their lipstick lipsticks. I love their Luxe lipstick formula. This is the shade Epi and Overlay. I've already had Epi in the past. The formula is wonderful. The pigmentation is wonderful. They're so, so comfortable. Epi is my absolute favorite. It is probably one of the most perfect nudes in my opinion. If you were a similar skin tone to me, it will look stunning on you. And you can get these at ColourPop or Ulta, so super affordable. I think they're like seven bucks. Next up was Flower Beauty. I decided to pick two of their lipsticks up. I really wanted to try them. I have really enjoyed a lot of Flower Beauty products. These are the shade Bare Pout and Bright Peony. Bold pink, but not like so in your face. I have an in your face coming up, but I wanted something that was just like bright and cheery, and I thought that was it. Both really nice. I will say by swatching, I haven't worn these yet. The ColourPop formula seems much creamier, much more pigmented, and feels more high-end than the Flower Beauty do. But again, really affordable, so why not try it out? The next two are, I mean, a lot of these are affordable. That was kind of my mission. Fine. I want to play with affordable lipsticks and find out which ones I really love and like those those formulas that will become like my cult favorite that aren't going to break the bank. The next up are LA Girl, their matte formula. This one is way lighter than I thought it would be. Like that looks like concealer lips. So that one will probably have to be used just to highlight portions of the lip. Uh, that one is so light. That really, really light shade is right here and that is ooh la la. And then the one next to it here is the color Hush. Now I will say that looks more pinky on my skin than I expected by the eye here. Um, it does show the color here at the end of the cap. Like that one looks more of like a like a warm kind of taupey nude, but on my hand it looks like concealer. Oh well, I think they were maybe like three bucks. Not the end of the world if it's not my favorite. Now if it was the Tatcha and it had that color variation, I would be like, excuse me? For that price tag? I don't think so. The next up is CoverGirl, their cream formula in Caramel Kiss. And this looks so comfortable. It feels so smooth on application. Decadent peach, I love a good peach tone. That's those two right here. I'm trying to breeze through these guys. If you want me to focus on any of these products, let me know. I will definitely do that for you. These are the Maybelline color sational. I love that the drugstore is bringing bold colors back because I love a bold lip. I have here the purple shade is Brazen Berry. Really pretty and I love how it's that it's not like a deep blackberry purple. It's like a bold fun purple. And then the orange shade is Electric Orange. I think that's quite fitting. 
that's the center one here and then the nice hot pink here is fuchsia flash so I love that the drugstore has the option to do bold. I will probably wear that purple to work though. I won't lie to you guys. This one I just tried for the video I filmed. I'm picking up another one of these. This is the color I create in the new Revlon formula. I don't know what the formula is called, but it's almost more like a lip stain. It goes on like water. It really is so sheer, but has so much coverage. The color of I create is beautiful. I love that and there's another color I swear I had it in my bag at checkout I'm wondering if the cashier didn't pull it out because I know I picked up another color but where did it go I'm uh, sorry whoa Siri I wasn't talking to you that's creepy they're all by physicians formula and it is their healthy lip line I have the colors tulip bear with me oh I get it like tulip oh like the flower I get it now magentle magentle and then nourishing plum. So let's see. I'm excited to swatch these because I have I haven't even felt what they're like yet. Oh whoa, that's like a red. Okay, I was not expecting that one to be so red. My eyes were deceiving me. I mean I I thought it looked like more of like a pink that leans red. That's like red. Three reds in my collection now, but I do love a good red lip. Oh, that color is perfect. It does feel like these could be a bit patchy on application. Oops, I kicked my camera. I'm sorry. A bit patchy, possibly. The next two are something I'm really excited to try. It is the Morphe Liquid Lipsticks. These two just looked so pretty in the tube, but the Frosted Glass, you guys. Anybody else dislike Frosted Glass because it does play with the true color? Now, this is in Vanity. This one looked really cool. Ooh, that's what I wanted it to be. Yay. Right there are the two um, Morphe. I'm very excited about those. The formula feels nice. I do think those are going to be ones that really dry down. The Liquid Latex by Morphe. Not Morphe. Wow. It's getting late. I don't know what's going on. The first one will be this shade, Peekaboo. Hopeless Romantic is the second. That is those two shades there. Honestly, gorgeous. Like, those are kind of my perfect nude shades. Like, that is two thumbs up. I definitely picked up another Fenty Gloss Bomb. I'm thinking about picking up the shiny pink one during the VIB sale whenever that comes around. If I should, let me know. If you've used it, please let a girl know. The next two are ones that I already owned, but I restocked on. These are like one of my favorite glosses ever. This is Papa Don't Peach by Too Faced and then Peach Fuzz. They smell so good. They're like the most nourishing, hydrating formula. Oh yeah, those are pretty. Those are, those are like my nudes right there. I love that one. And that lighter one will be so pretty for popping on the center of the lip for a plumpness. These two I found at Dollar General. These are the LA Colors High Shine Lip Glosses. This I'm wearing today. Stunning. I've had this one for a little bit. I had to pick up one more because I loved it so much. This is in the color Fresh. You guys, this gloss is so good. The formula, you guys, in those two colors love 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 so i'm getting some repeat colors but i feel like i have a good variety going on here these three came in a set these are color pop i picked them up at ulta they are these are ps and so fresh and then fantasia those three there i mean just give a really beautiful shiny plump pop on the lips and this is the lime crime diamond crushers I just wanted to, honestly, I just wanted to see what this was like. That's just the truth. Um, I don't know anything about it. I kind of thought it was a gloss, but it doesn't feel like a gloss. It's really just like a bold glitter. I don't know how that's going to feel on the lips, though. I think it might feel a little gritty, chunky, glittery. The next four are by NYX, and these are my boldies but goodies. Where can I swatch them? I'm, like, out of room. So this is in... Their NYX Slip Tees in the color Vacation. Oh, that is so stunning. That is the kind of hot in your face pink that I love when I want to rock a bold lip. I got these to go over top of the Maybelline for a little extra punch. Oh, yes, that, that one is hot fire purple right there. This one is actually the color Feisty, but oh my gosh, you guys, that is purple. That's actually probably more purple than I've ever gone before. This is their new NYX Candy Slick. These are really nice. They feel 
How do you open? Why do you open? This is in the color Sweet Stash. It is so pretty. I love an orange lip, you guys. I really love a good orange lip in the summertime. I think it looks so, so, so pretty. Then the last one I got is a really wearable color. This is in Sugar Coated Kiss. And it's just like a really beautiful baby pink. But that is everything I picked up. I feel like I have covered all of my bases here. I feel like I have everything I really need. I don't really feel like I'm missing anything besides there's two pieces I think I want to add. Let me know what you guys think. But I feel like I have like my bases covered. I've got my nudes. I've got my pinks. I've got my brights. I've got my more brownie toned nudes. Um, the only thing maybe is a true kind of chocolate brown possibly. I don't wear it a lot though, um, but maybe a little bit something along the lines of more of a real brownie tone. But then also uh, I'm really considering adding the pink gloss from Fenty because I really don't have a pink gloss in here. Um, and then I'm definitely going to add one more of these. There's a more peachy tone nude from the, I think I called this Revlon. This is L'Oreal you guys, I'm sorry. I think I called that Revlon. That is by L'Oreal. There is a more peachy tone nude that I think is really beautiful, and I seriously swear I had it in my bag today at Ulta, but I, I don't know where it went. It didn't get checked out, I guess. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing my full brand new lipstick, lip gloss, liquid lip collection. I'm really excited about it. If there's any products you have questions about, want to see reviews of, looks with, just let me know down below. I would love to do that for you guys. And yeah, that is everything. And before I close this out, let's do the shout out of the day. Today's shout out of the day is Jessica Young. Jessica commented on my monthly favorites video that pharmacy cleansing balm is her holy grail. Oh my goodness, I must say I thoroughly enjoyed that pharmacy cleansing balm. Like it's really up there for me on best makeup removers. It's so nice, it smells so good, and it does such a good job. So thank you for sharing that with me and the Lash Fam. Jessica, I'm so glad that you are a member of the Lash Family. And you guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please just click, just click, click that little subscribe. It's painless. It's free. You want to join the Lash Fam? You want to join the positivity? Just, just, we're welcoming. We're loving. Just click it, click it, click it. And hopefully I didn't have lipstick on my teeth this whole time. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I love interacting with you guys on there, and I try to be pretty interactive on there. I'm not always perfect, but I try. I really try. So, as always, you guys, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.